Tell you what, right when you think we've created all we can, people keep coming out with newer, cooler stuff. What's up guys, I'm Christina Thompson for 8012. Of the newest stuff, what's the coolest? Here are our five favorite inventions of the year. At number five, the hackaball thinks maybe we should start teaching people how to code when they're kids. I hear this whole computers thing is really gonna take off someday. This toy syncs with a mobile app that lets beginners program code to have a ball light at different times and colors. Like Mario teaches typing introduced Millennials to QWERTY, Hackaball hopes to do the same for C++. Finally, I can cut down on my seamless bill with number four, Pentelligent. It's a Bluetooth-enabled frying pan with a smartphone app that uploads recipes to it. Punch in your recipe and you'll get real-time directions as the food is cooking. Like flip the salmon, the crust is burning! Number three is Samsung Safety Truck in Argentina. It has cameras on the front that display what's on the road ahead to any cars driving blindly behind it. A 620-mile accident-free test inspired Samsung to work on making this more than a one-time thing. You'll probably never use invention number two, but it may save your life. The $120,000 Juno machine cuts down the time it takes scientists to examine DNA from a full day to just three hours, meaning an extra 21 hours a day for some really smart people to find cures for diseases and genetic donor matches. The coolest invention of 2015 Needleless vaccines. Want to get vaccinated now? You need refrigeration, clean syringes, proper disposal. A lot to ask for in times of crisis or in poor countries. But now, the Immunomatrix is a patch that can go unrefrigerated for 10 weeks and pump in the medicine just by slapping it on the skin. Also really cool for people who just don't like getting stabbed by needles, like me. The future is now from 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, like our videos, and leave a comment. If you can tell us why anybody still serves cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving, we'd love to hear it.